WT News 5 was the first to break the announcement this morning. John London has the breaking details right now from uh, UC's campus for us. John, what have you learned? Well, the timing is worth noting here. Uh, March 14th, a Wednesday, which is smack dab in the middle of UC's spring break. We ran that by uh, Spencer attorney Kyle Bristow a little while ago, and he's okay with that, saying those who want to come to Zimmer Hall to hear Spencer speak will be there. Originally, uh, December, January was the preferred time range, but when the Marriott on the medical campus said no way, UC went on the hunt for alternatives, settling on March 13th, 14th, or 15th as possibilities. UC's president saying in order for the university to meet its obligations for education, for safety, and for logistical reasons, the event would have to be outside the academic session. Recently renovated Zimmer has a large auditorium to accommodate uh, the event. Spencer is scheduled to speak for an hour and hold a one hour question and answer session on March 14th. Now UC has not confirmed anything to us yet, but Spencer's lawyer has and March 14th it is. A few moments ago, here's what one student said about it. I think a lot of people are worried about it for sure. Um, I think most people are are not really sure how to react. Um, at least uh, for me and my friends, most of us are just kind of saying we're we're not going to do anything about it, uh, not paying any mind. I think that's the best way to protest is not give not give this guy what he wants really. And Spencer's attorney tells us that he he thinks UC President Pinto, Dr. Pinto, did the right thing by permitting Spencer to hold an event on campus on March 14th for UC from a safety standpoint. Having it fall in the middle of spring break week is probably as good an option as you could have. We are still waiting for the university to provide its perspective about it. Reporting live on campus, John London, WWT News 5. Yeah, interesting, John. Uh, the controversial figure requested speaking engagements at several different universities across the United States and threatened to sue if the requests were not granted. Now, the Ohio State University was sued after it refused his request.